Before we even um, start the surgery on the patient, we actually reviewed the plan. The 3D analysis that uh, was obtained from the CAT scan allows us to see the knee in real time. And this allows us to see the orientation, the alignment, and actually the size of the implant that we'll use. So I can actually look with 3D technology to see exactly what the implant looks like, the alignment, the rotation. As we get into the surgery, I can actually make adjustments in surgery to balance the ligaments inside of the knee uh, as well. So once we place these pins into the bone, we attach what we call arrays uh, to the pins. And this allows us to consistently always know the position of the bones at all times. Once we register both the patient's anatomy and register the robot, then the next uh, step is to actually begin the surgery itself. So I can slowly chisel away the bone that's necessary. When I look at the screen, the green data tells me the extra bone that I must remove. What's critical is this robot will not allow me to go outside of the plan that we've instituted uh, in the very beginning of surgery. The surgeon is actually still doing the surgery. The robot is just allowing uh, the surgeon to do it in a more precise manner because the robot will not let me deviate from the plan at hand. Then the next step is to trial or place the implant to see if it fits correctly. And as you can see, it's perfectly aligned. The rotation is perfect. And as a surgeon, it's very exciting to see uh, that we can do this reproducibly, consistently, and do it successfully. This technology allows us to do surgery uh, with the smallest incisions possible. Our patients are recovering much quicker than the traditional approaches.